Hello, I'm Lu Yu from Zhejiang University, China.、Uh, this is a talk on learning-based image and video coding for CVPR 2020 workshop and challenge on learned image compression. There are two major system architectures for learning-based image and video coding. One is embedding neural network modules into traditional hybrid coding framework. The other is end-to-end -end coding. The organizer of this workshop invited me to give this talk, majorly focused on the first kind of architecture. I guess、uh, maybe. The participant of CVPR、uh, may familiar with the end-to-end -end coding architecture. So I will、uh, pay more time、uh, to introduce the research、uh, results、uh, on the、uh, network-based hybrid coding. Uh, other than that, at the end of、uh, my talk, I will、uh, also introduce some、uh, latest informations about、uh, coding, not only for human vision but also for、uh, machine intelligence. I believe people working on、uh, coding. Understand that we compress image and video following the theory of source coding. There are two threads of compression: the characteristics of source signal and the characteristics of human vision. The existing of uh, uh, spatial temporal correlation leads us to prediction and transform. The existing of the statistical correlation leads us to entry coding. Because of the limited sensitivity of vision, we can、uh, conduct a quantization. I will start、uh, from a loop filter. It is an important module in hybrid coding. And helps to improve reconstructed quality of video. Neural network can be good at acting as filtering, so learning based in loop filter caught the most research interest in all modules of、uh, hybrid coding. Here, a deep CNN is proposed for a loop filter. It may replace the deblocking filter and、uh, sample adaptive offset filter for intrafree, and added between deblocking filter and SAO as a switchable module for B and P frames. Significant coding gains can be obtained by using such a deep CNN, but the network module is.、Uh, Sensitive to quantization, so different modules have to be trained for different QPs. But people try to avoid use deep neural network for complexity reasons. So here, a four-layer CNN is proposed for a loop filter in 2017 by using reconstructed pixels from previous frame. And inserts the new module after debugging an SAO. Some coding gains can be reached, even though it is not so good as that from deep neural network. And also, different models have to be trained for different QPs. In this work of two thousand eighteen. Normalize the QP map 
is introduced as additional input of a eight-layered CNN. Now the same model can be used for different QPs. The module replaces the bilateral filter, deblocking filter, and SAO in loop filter. Residual values can also help when a less layered CNN is used as a loop filter. When block partition is introduced into a deep neural network, more than 7% of BD rate saving can be reached by running based in loop filter. As a short summary of neural based in loop filter, they are a kind of content adaptive filtering which can be inserted into different positions of the in-loop filter chain, from deblocking SAO to ALF, or replace some parts of the existing chain. Additional information other than the decoded frame can help to perform, including temporal neighboring pixels, maps of QPs, uh, block partitioning, prediction residues, and deep neural network can obtain more gain than less layered ones. A second module well studied in the hybrid coding framework is the intraprediction. Convolutional neural network are used to refine intraprediction blocks. This module may replace all existing intro mode and a small coding gain shown. The second work proposes to use a fully connected neural network to generate a predicting block directly from neighboring reference pixels. The neural network generated the prediction block is used as an additional mode and can be selected at the CU level. And it is studied to use same or different models for angular and non-angular modes. Here, recurrent neural networks are proposed to generate prediction block for intro prediction. After the feature extraction by CNN, RNN units are used to generate prediction of feature vectors. And in the training of neural network, energy of residuals in both a spatial domain and a transport domain are considered in the loss function. So a single layer network is studied for generation of intro prediction. First, a two layer neural network is trained in which the first layer extracts a feature from the reference pixels while the second layer makes the prediction. Then the neural network is simplified by pruning and removing nonlinear activation function.
Quantization is the module lack of studied in learning-based coding. One possible reason is it relates with perceptual characteristics. And we are lack of data set on it. But there are still a lot of uh, uh, studies on the optimization of quantization parameter selection. Since uh, these are not new coding tools, I will skip those things. Entropy coding is an interesting module that uh, learning can help. So here is an example that probability of the intraprediction mode are estimated. We constructed pixels as well as prediction modes of neighboring blocks are input into the network and a vector of uh, probabilities of all 35 intra modes are uh, predicted by the network. Significant coding gains is demonstrated. Another example is a probability estimation for a transform kernel index. Here, transform coefficients are used as threads to estimate the probability of uh, transform selection. A convolutional neural network together with a sampling and uh, full connected layers are proposed. Then the estimate of the probability is used to reorder uh, the transform kernel indexes. Some coding gains are shown even with such an index. A larger proportion of the bitstream is related with uh, uh, residual coefficients. So here the probability estimation for the intra-prediction residuals. Probability distribution of syntaxes such as uh, lost non-zero value position, DC value, and uh, the first to the sixth AC values are estimated by a neural network. A short summary on learning-based entropy coding. All studies are a focus on probability estimations for different syntaxes using correlation information such as uh, reconstructed pixels, decoded neighboring modes. One thing I would like to notice is that the labels we used in the training are the happening of the value, which means the possibility instead of the probability should be estimated. Here, the possibility describes the likelihood of a value happening in one symbol, while probability describes the frequency of the value happening in an infinite stream of symbols. This concept was uh, proposed in one of my paper in 2018. So in fact, we are estimating the possibility, but not the probability. The inaccurate of the estimation may cause the uh, bits of coding. This figure shows the performance of learning-based coding tools, in-loop filter, uh, inter- and intra-prediction, as well as entropy coding, can all benefit from learning. These performance 
are all compared with the anchor of uh, advanced video coding standard such as HEVC but we don't have uh, uh, enough examples for transform and quantization. So here the transform result is only compared with uh, JPEG. After so many researchers on learning-based coding modules, can we integrate them into one hybrid systems? or end-to-end end -end system. In fact, there are some researchers to ensemble different modules into end-to-end -end coding systems. So here networks for residual coding, uh, motion vector coding, and uh, optical flow estimation as well as uh, bitrate estimations are ensembled into one system. And here, three end-to-end -end networks for intercoding, intercoding, and residual coding are integrated into one end-to-end -end video coding system. Coding results outperform HEVC is already demonstrated. A conclusion to the learning-based uh, image video coding, let's say all roads lead to Roma. Hybrid coding framework embedded with neural network-based modules can bring significant coding gains End-to-end -end framework can be explained by traditional source coding theory because it's also combined of prediction, transform, quantization, and entry coding modules. Uh, the boundaries between these two architectures are blurry. For both architecture, the coding performance may come from nonlinear reorganization of information, uh, vector quantization, possibility estimation by multiple complicated correlated contexts, which are not well covered by traditional coding tools. Before I end up my uh, talk, let me provide some uh, uh, information on the learning-based coding. So the first is uh, there will be a special section on learning-based image and video coding in IEEE transaction on CSVT. There will be uh, 12 papers in this uh, special section, one on end-to-end -end compression, the others on intraprediction, interprediction, uh, in loop filtering, arithmetic coding, and also uh, encoder optimization. And for your information, um, recently an ad hoc group on deep neural network based video coding was established in MPEG. We will study the performance improvement uh, potential of deep neural network-based video coding technologies uh, and the coding and the decoding complexities will be studied in the group. If you are interested about this activity, you may subscribe to the mailing list. Additional to that, people are considering of uh, image video coding, not only for human vision, but also for machine understanding. So the potential usages could be um, like uh, smart industry, uh, intelligent transportation, smart uh, 
retailers, smart cities, smart sensor networks, immersive video um, and for entertainment, smart media editing and creations. It could be machine oriented or hybrid of machine and human uh, representation. In the video coding for machine, you may consider to use uh, existing video encoder decoder uh, to serve for the machine understanding. And you may also consider to develop some new techniques to compress uh, features extracted from video. And in order to serve also for human vision, some additional bitstream may be provided with a new uh, video codec. In MPEG, another ad hoc group on video coding for machine established in last year. We are planning to call for evidence in this July. If you are interested about this, you may also uh, subscribe the, to the mailing list of the adult group. That's all for my talk. Thank you very much. If you have any question, please contact me with uh, an email. Thank you.